You feed your pets every day, but have you ever stopped to wonder what it really is you're feeding them? Is it worth paying the extra money for the premium brands? I'm here to answer those questions for you. My name is Big T, and I am the Pet Food Connoisseur. Big up yourself, Internet. Welcome back to Pet Food Connoisseur on the Rule Boy Unboxing Network. I'm your main man, Big T. I'm your pet food connoisseur. And today, we're going to sample the food of man's best friend. Do you want to know what your dog's eating? I'm about to tell you. Hey, so, last time on Pet Food Connoisseur, uh, with the cat food, the supermarket home brand was by far the worst. So... This time we're just going to go straight in there with it. And then hopefully we'll get better as we go along like we did with the cat food. Save best for last. Bro. Exactly. Best for last. How so we eat every meal. This is a uh, supermarket home brand Meaty Loaf dog food. Uh, not really quite sure what Meaty Loaf is. Uh, it says rich in tripe. So treats for me. So let's get this thing open. So. Loves me some tripe. Oh, very, very different to the cat food. So basically, it just looks like pate. I mm. guess that's what meaty loaf is, pate. So, <sighs> doesn't smell like pate. So let's just do this. Yeah, looks like. Oh my god! Job. Bottoms up. That is brutal, bro. That is brutal. Shit. Oh, bro, I'm getting past me in the back. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, so we're back. Um, so, co-op home brand meaty love dog food is possibly the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. Um, the texture was kind of like, if you crossed pate with jelly and then made it out of dog poo. Um, tasted like rancid, bitter. Um, to be quite frank, cats have got it lucky. Um, man's best friend deserves better than this. Uh, Let's hope we've got better to come, because that was really bad. No, it looked brutal. Next <sighs> high. Right, so, next up, pedigree chum. Uh, this is like the quintessential dog food, the one everybody's heard of. We got chicken and gravy. So, uh, hopefully this will be a lot better than the meaty loaf, because the meaty loaf was whack. Uh, so let's do this. Bust this puppy open. Okay, so again, a bit light with the cat food and gravy. It says gravy, but it's actually like a sloppy oh, jelly. Uh, that is brutal, bro. Okay, so much bigger lumps than cat food. Uh, square lumps, as you can see. Well, this gravy is a lot thinner than the cat food gravy, to be fair. Uh, bottoms up. So yeah, I wouldn't say that was pleasant, bro. but hmm. I'm getting very gritty. Pets love the grit. Um, basically pretty flavourless. It kind of tastes like if you got really cheap meatballs and like just zapped some of the flavour out, like watered that right down till it. Tasted like very, very little. Uh, and yeah, that's not too bad, I'd say. So, I think I was a bit too disgusted to rate it with the meatloaf, but zero out of ten. That meatloaf was rank. But I'd put this on maybe a 3.5. So, pedigree chum. Better. Better. Uh, room to improve. <laughs> Oh, 
Big up yourself, internet. Welcome to another episode of Rude Boy Unboxings. I'm your main man, the bad man Reginald, and this is the bad man. And this is your main man. Observe the wild millennial. Obsessed and connected in strange ways unbeknownst to science. To the interweb. There, he can access a vast array of entertainments, the evolution of which has dulled his mind. So unconscious is he of the world around him that he is unable of higher thought. The addiction to these Objects has, in recent days, become an issue. This once majestic creature is now so infected with Facebook that he is no longer able to function in modern society. For just £2.50 a month, you can help fight this disease. Call... Oh eight hundred five six two zombie. Your donation will help give young Targwin here a chance at survival. So next up we have Caesar's Country Kitchen. Uh, Bit more pram dog food. Um, this one is with carrots and pasta. Who knew dogs like pasta? But let's bust this puppy open and see what she's like. Don't so say anything, bro. Mmm. First smell on. It smells quite nice. Got a smell of gravy to it. Bit of rosemary in there, possibly. I can see some carrots. I can't see the pasta yet, but let's see. So. Oh, no, here's some pasta. Found some there's actual pasta shells. Pasta shells in there, bruv. Human food. Let's do this thing. Hmm. So it's not as nice as it, as it smells, but it's honestly not too bad at all. That's just what she said. That's way better than anything I've tried so far. Um, yeah, pasta's literally just pasta. Um... Yeah, not too bad at all. Um, if I was hungry, heat that thing up, bit of salt. Mm. Good things. <laughs> I'd give that maybe 8.5. 8.5 out of 10. Honestly, not bad. Next time. Next time. So that's the meats done. And like with cat food, the more you pay for your meat, the nicer that thing is. Um, and so next up we've got Baker's Treaty Stick Rewards. Ooh, nice. Let's see if, uh, let's see if they're as good as dogs make them out to be. So, hmm, they actually smell pretty nice. So, uh, yeah, a bit fatter than the cat treat, but let's give it a go. Hmm, so, it's quite dry, surprisingly dry. Gritty again. What is it with grittiness? Probably good for their teeth. Flavour-wise, it's not too bad. It's like someone's taken bovril and sand and like rolled them up into a tube. Mm. It's kind of sweet as well. Honestly, pretty good. <laughs> So, I'm hoping I've left the best for last. These are uh, pedigree tasty bites. And they feel just like, you know them fridge raider meat rolls you get? Feel like that? So, bust them open. See what they're like. Oh, oh my god. Well, uh, these was, I'm going to be honest, the ones I was most looking forward to. But they genuinely smell horrific. 
Um, they smell kind of like someone's got a rat <laughs> and it's like died in the walls and like rotted for some time. Oh, bro. <sighs> I mean, like, that's really bad. So, let's hope they taste better than they smell. Okay, so not as bad as I was expecting. Very sandy. Um, very dry. Not a lot of flavour, to be honest. Mm. It is getting worse as it unravels. Um, a lot less meaty than I thought. <laughs> but... Oh, that aftertaste. Oh. What's that for? What is that? Okay, so initial flavour... Not too bad at all, but that aftertaste, uh, really quite rank. I'd lay, I'd name them maybe 3.5 for absolute push. Uh, if you want to treat your pets, treat them to the baker sticks, much better flavor. Painting, well, if it's got like omega 3, some vitamins and minerals, that's you for the day. So once again, like with the cat food, uh, the more you pay for your dog food, the better it tastes. Uh, do your dogs a favour, buy nice food every once in a while. Uh, so I've been the pet food connoisseur Big T, right here on the Rude Boy Unboxing Network. You can get me at big underscore popper underscore T. You can get my main man Reginald at the bad man Reginald. And get us next time on the Rude Boy Unboxing Network. Next time! Type. One time! Two time! When you get it through, three time! When it get to you, four time! When you get it right, five time! When you get it nice! <laughs>